Uno. Hip like Pluto. You back to Kudo. You and her no chat, you go. Pocket to P, they sumo. Pocket to P, they sumo. Pocket to P. All right, coach. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the steel capital of the world, Pittsburgh, PA, at Heinz Field. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Two teams here, each off to 1-0 and starts as this one is underway on EA Sports. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers putting up their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Throwing right, and that's complete. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here we go, here we go. On first down, Bortles. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Here we go. On first and 10, here's Bortles. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And he'll go down, shy of the 40 at the 41. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Now, that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. On second down, here's Yeldon. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there, and it's third down. Ah, uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. 11B, 11B. Lucy, Lucy. Three to two. Working from the gun, it's Bortles. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A good pick up there, a 22. Bortles going to come up here on first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Hey, five -oh, five -oh. They'll toss it to Yeldon. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Seven, 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 seven. 
On second down, here's Bortles. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. The Jags with their first opportunity in the red zone. They've got it first and goal at the six. Shotgun now for Bortles. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Chance is good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. And the movement there coming from the middle of the line. And you understand he wants to get off the ball quickly, but the ball's right in front of him. He has to watch it move first. Here's another second and goal, this time from half the distance closer. Sunday, Sunday. Lucy, Lucy. Hey, 24, Ricky. 11, 11. From the gun, it's Bortles. Flushed out right. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. D.J. Chark, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Jaguars drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau. And it's now a 7-0 game. Here's Lambeau out to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 22. Now the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. Up from the secondary to make the tackle, Jalen Ramsey. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Now Roethlisberger to throw on second down. This will be caught by Brown. Space to maneuver at the 40. The Steelers able to pick up 18 yards there. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage after it. has got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. And what's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact, and he'll go deep. Incomplete. It's never a bad idea to try and get it to Antonio Brown, but there must be a little bit of the Madden curse going on for our cover athlete here. Hasn't been able to get that elite separation that we're used to seeing from him. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Second and 10 now. It's Roethlisberger. And it's incomplete. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. But that doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. 
Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Again, it's Roethlisberger. And that will be incomplete as well. The linebacker, Telvin Smith, able to get a hand on it there. Yeah, good game catching the ball at the backfield a week ago, and they're going to try and involve him in that way in this game as well. But you can tell scouting is taking over. They're making it a little bit more difficult. And defensively, they told us, hey, we've got to take him out of the passing game, limit it to just short runs, because he can really impact this offense. The Jaguars offense now heads back onto the field. They have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. They'll start out on the ground. It's T.J. Yeldon. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. T.J. Watt in on the tackle. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half. And some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Bortles going to give to Yeldon, and he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. 's on third down that one complete to Yeldon and he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field so a decent gain but all for not on the penalty that's too bad isn't it they were feeling pretty good about it the only people celebrating the guys who just gave up that play they'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Here's Bortles to throw. Being chased at left. And he's able to get this one up to the eight-yard line this time. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Roethlisberger. And this will be incomplete. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things, but once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Thank you. 
From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll get this way down into Jacksonville territory. A big play on third there for the Steelers. 45 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a first down carry by Bell. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. On second down, it's Bell. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. A lot of people call the toss a probing play to see what they can get against the defense, to see how they adjust and react. Their probing's working pretty well. That was a very nice run. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Here's Roethlisberger. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Miles Jack. He's the one that gets him down. It'll be a loss of five, and it'll bring up fourth down. So on fourth down, the Steelers call on the number of Chris Boswell for the field goal try. And Boswell's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, and I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all, to me, that's a good drive. Well, the Jaguars getting set to go. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Now Bortles throwing on second down. That's a short one here, complete to the tight end. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. And the Jaguars send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point <laughs> kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract. Time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about Toe that. Bash. Super tall. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. 
when we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Snickers, you gotta spin. On second down, here's Roethlisberger. James has got it, complete. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. That catch good for five. It's third down. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. They'll try and run for it with Bell. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. From the 34 now, here's hey, first hey, and 10. Hey, hey. They go play action here on first down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Calais Campbell in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Roethlisberger will throw. A screen to Bell. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back to Heinz Field after this. Let's go, let's Need go, something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the blitz coming, and down he goes. Stephon Tuitt, the former Notre Dame man, in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. The Jaguars on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and 17. Green 80. Green 80. Lucy, Lucy. 11, 11. Green is on. Bortles. And almost picked off. 
I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. So first and 10 now from the 30. on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The linebacker, Telvin Smith, able to get a hand on it there. Martin, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with. Some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting the 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Seconds now showing on the clock. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. It's Roethlisberger. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. So we've reached intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we'll send you down to Orlando. And just like that, on we head to half number two. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing, 
often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Again, it's Bell. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, hey, peripheral. Hey, 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 also hey. has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. They'll pitch it out to Bell. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely. Going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop something big to knock them back on their heels? So the sack and now a third and long situation for the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. Play clock down to three, and we're going to get a timeout here. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And the Steelers on third down, two for five to this point. This is going to be third and 13. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Miles Jack in there to drop him. And back-to-back -back sacks now bring up fourth and long. Here's Jordan Berry now as he's on to punt for Pittsburgh. Here comes the Jags offense now. Time for their first possession of half number two. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're, we're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. Going right side here, and that's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Lucy, Lucy. Now a play fake here on first down. Sliding out of the pocket. And now he'll tuck it and run. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. Ten yards there, good enough for a Jags first down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Bortles now on first down. Eluding the pressure right. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse, still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Into the red zone, it's Bortles. 
That's complete right around the eight. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Ten more there and another first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. They'll try to punch it in with Yeldon. And he'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. T.J. Yeldon, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Jaguars add on to their lead. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Here's Lambeau out to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Steelers' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. They'll try and get the running game going with Bell. And some room to maneuver. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot. 18 yards. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, eight, eight, go ahead and eight, give it to your eight. back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. And they'll keep it on the ground with Bell. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. It's Roethlisberger. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. Marcel Darius in there to record another sack. Their sixth of the afternoon. So the sack, and now a third and long situation for the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. 17, 17, got Snickers, you got to spin. Kings, Kings. Now Roethlisberger to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. They'll try and throw for it with Roethlisberger. And that is going to be incomplete. The Steelers try it, but they come up empty on fourth down. And the Jaguars are going to take possession here of the turnover on downs. And now out come the Jags. 
And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Give him nine there on the first down completion. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. That last catch go, short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now Bortles will give the Elder. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. The Jaguars on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and two. Shotgun now for Bortles. Forced out to his left. He may try and run for this. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. That is an absolute backbreaker. That was a design passing play. Wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped. Good coverage downfield, and he's able to pick up the first with his legs defensively. That kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does, and, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically, but it hurts more when they get it this way because you've covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running and picks it up anyway, and now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. And really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. From the gun, it's Bortles. He goes underneath for Yeldon. Six yards on the pickup, and that's going to bring up a third down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. From the gun on third down, Bortles. This is Yeldon on the dump off. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Bortles now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Bortles gives to Yeldon on the draw. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter. Looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. We've got them now. They go with the screen. It's Yeldon. And now running right through it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. First down, Jacksonville. The passing game looking sharp on this drive for the Jags. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by the former first-rounder, Artie Burns. 
two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at the 20. After the interception, here's Roethlisberger. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. The former All-Pro, Marcel Darius, in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Now it's Roethlisberger. Over the middle here to Brown. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Those short little routes probably going to be open. The defense, they'll let those happen, especially when they can make an inbounds tackle. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talks about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take more. That was one of those situations. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after go. catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, man, harder man. to move it. Man, man. Here we go. It's Roethlisberger on fourth down. And they get to him with a pressure as Roethlisberger goes down. Dante Fowler in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Well, they certainly got dented with that first down run. So now they've got to be back on their heels a little bit as a defense. Give the elder. And he'll be brought down this time at the five yard line. It's an eight yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They come out here in the eye. They'll try and run for it with Yeldon. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. T.J. Yeldon with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Here's Lambeau out to kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. 
and that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. So just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and we'll still get the first down. They love being physical. On first and ten, it's Roethlisberger. Fighting room inside the 40. Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. And all the way down to the 33-yard line. A good pick up there, 22. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. But there's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. You have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just let him bleed the game out that way. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And they don't get the reception incomplete. So now they're down to 17 seconds remaining. And the Steelers on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is third and eight. Jack 16. Why is that? Bend to throw again. And he's got Rodgers. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. Roethlisberger. That will be caught by James. The big tight end has a Steeler touchdown. Jesse James, his second touchdown on the season. And the Steelers are able to cut into that deficit. He's definitely making his mark early in the year from the tight end position. Two games played, two touchdowns. And from what I've seen on tape so far this year, his ability to use the fakes well, as a body in the red zone, they should continue to look his way through the entire season. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Here we go, here we go. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. 